those, those of you who were with us last night. And I invite you now just to relax in this beautiful day. The sun is shining. The temperature is climbing. Here we sit in the coolness. The first time I ever visited Houston, Texas, when I was a little boy living up north, there was no air conditioning. It was the middle of summer. But they had an inflatable pool. And that made it all right. And splashing around in the inflatable pool one day, I heard a strange sound and an ice cream truck came by. And one of the children of the family we were staying with ran to the ice cream truck, came back with ice cream for me. And there I sat in the pool with my ice cream and I thought, life doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> but now air conditioning has been invented and it's been around so long we take it for granted. And you know where it came from? It came from the invisible. It came from the everywhere, into the here. It was pulled through into earthly expression by a committed mind. And I don't know the history of it, but it's somewhere there on your phone. How it all came to be that somebody said we could invent a system. And they continue to perfect it even up to this day where it's quieter, cooler, lasts longer. And we're surrounded by ideas that are taking form. The body we wear is one of the, probably the most mysterious of all. And we come to this place today to have an experience of calling something into being in our lives and in the world's life from the invisible realm into form where we can all see it and celebrate it and share it with one another. During this next hour together, something powerful and transformative is occurring in and to and through each one of us. Assisted along by beautiful words and music and hugs and smiles and the energy of the group. So I invite you to be with your sacred process, your thoughts, your feelings, whatever they may be, on this sweet Sunday as we sit together for a few moments in the beauty of this music. inspires me, universal spirit enlightens me, universal power encircles me. I am one and all is well. I invite you now to open yourself to the miracle working higher power and symbolize the unity of your thinking and feeling nature by touching your chest with your right hand, letting my words act as your own for your own inner acceptance and receptivity. I acknowledge that there is a power, intelligence, and wisdom greater than my own. I am in the midst of it, and it is in the midst of me, sensitive and responsive to my every thought, word, action, and feeling. I now make this true for myself by saying aloud, I acknowledge. Acknowledging this higher power working through my life, I admit that I am personally responsible for solving my own problems while being guided and assisted by something greater than myself. As I become ready to surrender the conflicts of my ego to the wisdom of this infinite presence, I simply speak these words, I surrender. <laughs> Knowing that forgiveness is the key to unconditional love and the feeling of heaven, I now unconditionally forgive anyone and everyone who has ever injured me in any way, real or imagined, and I now forgive myself for all my mistaken judgments and their resulting actions. From my deepest level of understanding, now I say, I forgive. I forgive. 
Realizing that I continually experience the effects of my own thinking, I now choose to allow this higher power to recreate me deeply, filling my mind with thoughts that are only constructive, positive, loving, and beautiful. I call upon this divine inflow by stating aloud, I choose to choose. I now center upon that one special idea that I'm willing to accept as real for me in this coming week, visualizing this idea as already acted upon and brought to pass. And seeing my idea become a fact of my experience, I enjoy the happiness and peace of my thought fulfilled, and gratefully speak these words, I accept. I accept. Knowing that I have an everlasting place in the midst of the power that sustains all creation, as well as the support of all those around me, I allow myself to relax in the peace of fulfillment and gratitude and say, I release. I release. Now in my mind's eye, I envision the presence of someone near and dear to me who has touched my life in powerful, wonderful ways. This could be a friend, a family member, a teacher of mine. It's someone who's not physically present with me in this room this morning, so I greet this being of light and consciousness, turning toward that face I see in my mind's eye and saying, I'm grateful for the good in your life. Now I open my eyes to the world around me, turn joyfully to these folks, and I say to me today, I'm grateful for the good in your life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.